the forehead of your robot. Hello, my name is Freddy the Ferret, and today I'll be reading a swell back at the barnyard crappy pasta. This was written by no other than good old Shadow Reader, who is called Creepy User 777. He wrote this spooky Lost Episode story back in 2013, which was an attempt to dominate the Lost Episode genre with its shitty cliches and whatnot when he was like 13 at the time. Warning, it contains very graphic content and has intense satanic propaganda. It also has very atrocious grammar and storytelling. Let's proceed this fuckfest of a story without any interruptions. Okay, I know you may not believe me, but this is real. A few days ago, I was just sitting on my living room couch just watching TV and eating popcorn. It was 3.30 in the morning, and I was going through some insomnia at the time, when all of a sudden the show Back at the Barnyard was announced on Nick at Night. I was a bit confused at this, because 1, it was early in the morning, and 2, the show wasn't supposed to air until 10 o'clock a.m. Well, even though I decided to watch it. The opening then song went by normally, but the only weird thing was that Freddy, the little orange ferret, was not in the sun or in any of the scenes, which kinda weirded me out, but I thought it was a bit of a mix-up so I continued watching. Now when the title card came up, it wasn't the old funny, weird looking title that showed it, but a gloomy depressing scene with a picture of Freddy crying and the rest of the animals with a horrific look on their faces and the words on the card saying, Freddy's depression. Soon the episode starts, and it started with Freddy in his little compartment, just sitting there, none of the animals had shown up, and there was no music at all, just Freddy, sitting there alone. Then that's when things got a little weird, about 10 seconds after the scene, music starts to play, and it wasn't fun or happy, it was depressing, after a few moments in listening to the song, I knew that it was a song from, a Vincent's called my immortal and then while the song played freddy started crying and not like the crying you normally see in cartoons no but a somewhat real is it crying then the scene cuts to black my jaws dropped and i wondered what the fuck is this then after the black screen faded it cuts to a new scene this time it's freddy sitting at a desk with a pencil and paper in his hands and then he starts to write and while he writes he starts crying bitterly at this time i start to get a little upset then after he was done writing he got up and left the desk and the camera zooms on what it said and it shocked the hell out of me this is what it said dear friends I'm sorry for what I'm about to do, but I think it is for the best. My life has been a cesspool of hell, and I just want you to know you all caused this. Peck, my so-called best friend, you never cared or comforted me when I needed you most. You are my reason on what I'm about to do. Pip, you stupid son of a bitch, you just sit there and call me stupid. But in some cases you did come for me, but that does not excuse you for what I'm about to do. Bessie, you little bitch, I hate you so much, you just sit there and insult me 24-7, and never take any consideration to my feelings, and you are first in what I'm about to do. And the rest of you, just be prepared. I hate you all. Freddy. I was shocked and scared at the same time, what did he mean when he said, get ready for what I'm about to do. I was so tempted to turn off my TV, but I had to watch the rest. After about 5 minutes of this, it cuts to Freddy still crying and holding a knife, but soon it starts to get scary. He soon stops crying, and he looks up, my face was locked in horror, his tears had soon became tears of blood, and his teeth looked like a rabbit dog's would be like, and his eyes, oh god the eyes, his eyes soon became fully black, like he was possessed by a demon. Then we hear Otis and the rest of the gangs get home, but when they see Freddy, their faces turn to pure horror-stricken fear. Freddy just smiles and says in a demonic tone, Let's get ready. Then the screen cuts to black for about four seconds. Then the final scene finally arrives, but the scene is horrible. 
If you have ever been in a slaughterhouse, you haven't seen nothing yet. It shows all of the animals all horribly mutilated and bloody. Otis's was horrible, his stomach was cut open, and all of his entrailles were cut up and pulled five feet away from his body, blood draining from his stomach to the middle of the floor. Then the camera points to Pig, his body was hanged upside down, nailed to an inverted cross, and his face was apparently peeled off of his body, and also his stomach was cut open, and his entrailles dangled a few feet away from his head, and on his head was carved an upside down pentagram, with a word, Pig was in the middle of it. Then the camera pointed to a pot of boiling water, and when the camera looked into the pot, there was nothing but blood and little bits of organs, and a boiling head floated. I started to scream and, and then weep, I was so freaked out on what had happened, sleep was out of the question. Then it finally zoomed in on Bessie, luckily she wasn't as bloody or as horribly mangled as the others were. The camera zoomed in a little closer, and it showed the word, bitch, written carved onto her stomach, and it looked like her death was just suffocation, thank goodness, but it confused me that he gave her a more humane death than the others. After a few seconds, you could hear faint crying in the background, and it was Freddy. He was sitting in his stall, covered in blood and bits of feathers. Apparently he ate Peck, but made sure Peck never got out of his stomach. As I saw Freddy, apparently he was crying, but not tears. Oh no no no, it was blood, and next to him was a dead priest with his robe on, but covered in blood. Freddy was crying his eyes out, and you could hear him faintly saying, I hate you Satan, you dirty bastard. After a few minutes, the sound of a police car came and arrested the bloody animal. Then the sun cut to credits. My face was shocked, and my eyes cheeked on whiting. What had happened was the worst thing to ever happen, and ever since then, I have tried to find the video and more info, but Google search showed no results. I warn you all if you happen to see an episode titled, Back at the Barnyard Lost Episode, or Freddy's Depression, do not watch it, or else you will suffer the consequences. Ooh, bag, that was childhood ruining, Satan and hell plagiarizing, nonsensical, atrociously written, and a certified classic swell. Shout out to the good old Shadow Reader, who for some reason just uploaded a few videos a few weeks ago, after the leaving message was removed from his channel. In the vein of recapping, the guy who watches Nickelodeon at night, came across a demented episode of Back at the Barnard at 3am, which caught him off guard. In the episode where I, Freddy the Ferret, had enough of everyone's shit, and I was crying realistically. The music that was heard in the episode was, My Immortal, from Evanescence, which the word was misspelled in the story. I suggest you go listen to the song, the link will be in the video's description. Back to the recap, I then wrote a note, saying that I hate all of my friends so much, because they don't give a shit about my feelings. As my friends arrive, they will be shocked about what was said on my note, and then, I mutilate them to death. Also, what the fuck was the point of a dead priest anyway? Was it because I was overly controlled by an overpowered demon as I mutilate my friends, and even the priest? Shit, this is some overpowered satanic propaganda. Why would I say that I hate Satan? Really, Satan is a really swell man, he likes to watch the perverts burn forever. After all of my swell demonic doings in the episode, I was then arrested by some cops, before the episode ended. My final thoughts on this crappy pasta is a ridiculously horrible shit-covered masterpiece. The grammar was atrocious, the storytelling was ridiculously nonsensical, but I found it very swell, and made just for the lols, but it do have disturbing and slightly offensive content. My rating on this story, in a troll pasta and crappy pasta perspective, will have to be a 9 out of 10 of swellness. My rating on this story, in a serious creepy pasta perspective, will have to be a 0 out of 10. My name is Freddy the Ferret, the wonderful kind swell ferret of all ferrets, that brings you this message.
See ya later and have a nice day, my swell studs.